we now need to consider the effect of advertising on society. Despite criticism, it is mainly positive as it uh, achieves a number of things. One, advertising creates jobs in advertising itself, the advertising industry, in the media, and in companies as demand grows for their products. Also, it helps to produce wealth, more people in work, and then they have more money to spend. Three, it helps uh, achieve consumerism. The more money people have, the more money they spend on goods and services. So three key areas, creating jobs, creating wealth, and creating consumerism. So how can advertising campaigns be measured? A company decides it wishes to advertise, it selects an advertising agency, it spends money, hard earned profits are being reinvested to create advertising, to try to sell more, to create even more profit. That's how uh, it should work. But companies need to know that their advertising money is being spent well, being spent wisely, and they need to create identity of measures to prove that the advertising campaign has worked once the advertising campaign has been completed. There are many ways to do this. One would be uh, to achieve an increase in market share. Another would be to achieve an increase in sales volume. Another would be to achieve an increase in sales value. And then the responses to the advertising campaign by people responding uh, by filling in coupons from newspapers and magazines, clipping them, sending them back to the company, uh, by uh, telephone inquiries, people phoning in, by people visiting the website, and then how often they would visit the website, how long they stay on the website, how long they stay on any given page. All of these can be measured, as you may know. Uh, by the increase in orders from the distributive trades. If we produce product, we sell it through the distributive trade to the consumer. If the distributive trade need more of our product, they're reordering at a faster rate. It must mean they're selling out at the other end to the consumer at a faster rate. By an expansion of distribution area, we're able to get our product sold over a wider area within a country or within a region of the world, such as Europe, or by market research activity, which could be to establish a recall of uh, our uh, campaign and awareness of the brand name of our product being advertised. These are ways then of measuring the success or otherwise of an advertising campaign. Now we need to consider advertising as part of an integrated marketing communications campaign. I'm going to go through an example that I prepared uh, for us to consider. Uh, we need to consider first the budget. How much would a company have to spend? It might be a heavyweight campaign over quite a short period of time. Um, it might be £7 million to be spent on advertising in the UK over, let us say, eight weeks, plus £1 million to produce the advertising because we do want to include a television commercial. Uh, next, we need to consider the target audience. We need to communicate with the trade that we are going to be advertising heavily. This will interest the trade in stocking more of our product in advance of increased demand. Then we need to reach the consumers, the people who buy our product. For example, uh, I'll give you uh, the one that I thought about. ABC Housewives, that's the more wealthy housewives, with children a, uh, who are aged sorry, between 20 and 45, and they have children aged between 6 and 15. The product could be a new breakfast cereal from Nestle or uh, Kellogg perhaps, and we'll give it a name, a brand name, Stru uh, Truly Scrumptious. Truly Scrumptious is the name of this new breakfast cereal to be launched onto the market. It needs a USP. What is unique about it? So it's extra healthy, it has nutritious ingredients, it includes wheat and nuggets of calcium, it will benefit the teeth and bones of growing children. Now the integrated campaign means more than one medium above the line, and it means more than just above the line, it means spending some of the money in an integrated fashion below the line using other promotional activities as well to give the client, the advertiser, full benefit for their 7 million advertising campaign. 
So we could suggest the following combination. <clears throat> we could suggest advertising above the line on commercial television, 55% uh, of the budget. We could spend money on posters, 10% of the budget, and also advertise in women's magazines to reach these more upmarket women, probably through um, women's monthly magazines, and that could be 2.5% of the budget. Then we link that with below the line activity, public relations activity, 5% of the budget, and then a combination of direct mail and sales promotion, that means sending letters through the post to potentially interested uh, consumers in our product, people who've perhaps bought our products before, and that together with a special money off coupon, 30p off coupon or something of that nature. <clears throat> that could be as much as 20% of the budget. And then point of sale material, something displayed within the store to act as reminder when the target audience is women with children go shopping, another 5% of the budget. So of our 7 million, <clears throat> that will uh, mean spending 6 million 825,000 pounds, and then we have left 175,000 pounds as a reserve of budget, 2.5% as a reserve of budget, should we have a, a short-term opportunity to do something additionally. The benefit of an integrated campaign is this. It is synergistic. The total value is greater than the sum of its individual parts. This is how it could work. So advertising is a very exciting area to work and for many people a very exciting career path to take. Thank you.